been hanging out in this building near the tower. We did actually control the tower, but an enemy vehicle's just pulled up, blasted a smoke. A couple of enemies went up and took out Friendly. We've got Friendlies further up the tower, but um, I'm going to now go up from the bottom to retake the bottom of the tower from the two enemies that just went up. There's a dead Friendly there waiting for the revive. Aim down sight before uh, going around the corner just to make sure that the first, the accuracy of the first shot that I fired was totally on point or as on point as I could make it anyway. Right, went to revive this guy but just noticed a grenade that's come down there. Moved away to avoid the grenade. Um, actually opened the door there to come in here to uh, wait and see if more grenades come through but this other guy's gone to revive. Um, I prefer to keep the doors shut so I'm going to shut the doors. That means if anyone else, if any enemies come up from below it gives me a second uh, to react before I, as I see their, the end of their gun point through the end of the door there. Um, however the grenades have kept coming down I just stayed around the corner to try and cover that guy in case any people came down to shoot us but it's just grenades that are coming down. So what I'm going to do now is revive from in here so if any more grenades come down from the stairs above hopefully they won't get me. Um, now this guy could potentially be revived into the middle of some grenade spam, but uh, I'm going to risk it anyway. I haven't heard too many grenades, too many more grenades anyway, so I think he might be good. I was not expecting them to have come down and healed each other like that. As you can see, the friendly's back up, but he's not aware of the enemies behind him, and I had to be very careful with that second enemy not to shoot my teammate there. You can see he's wondering what's going on there, I think. But yeah, luckily he figured out what was going on and uh, didn't shoot back at me. Okay, just went into this little room again in case of uh, more grenades. Did actually take uh, damage from a grenade, but I'm not sure where that grenade was. Possibly directly above or directly below me, more likely directly above me. Right, so I'm covering this guy while he goes for the revive at the moment. Now, that guy there that's just been re revived is actually healing the guy above us, so I'm going to go up and make sure it's clear so this guy's not just respawned into some enemy action. Just going to put a grenade up there um, in case there's an enemy waiting around the corner there. However, that friendly that was doing the revive and had the medic perk because he revived that guy faster than I was expecting. But yeah, the enemy actually avoided my grenade, um, but. Luckily, I went up fast enough just after the grenade to catch him off guard while he was still moving. Had a quick look around the pillars there, you get people hiding around those pillars there. And um, yeah, there was one friendly above us and no more enemies, so we actually reclaimed the tower at that point. Okay, moving on to another clip now. This is on the uh, Molden map. We know there's some enemies in this tower above. They've held it for a while, so not only are they in the tower above, but they also seem to be positioned on the ground around the tower as well. There's quite a lot of places around this tower where people can take cover. Might actually be other enemies uh, shooting at the tower as well. But I can see we've got a few friendlies approaching the tower. So I'm not going to go straight for the tower yet. I'm going to wait till the other friendlies are a bit closer. You can see them on the mini-map, in the, the GPS mini-map in the bottom right of the screen there. Still looking around for more enemies on the ground near the tower. can hear a bit of gunfire, so I'm just checking it out. Quite often get people in this building here. Well, that appears to be clear, but I can hear some gunfire out there, so let's investigate. Oh my God. Did you see that? Right, now one friendly's gone up the tower, so I'm going to go and back him up. Ideally could uh, should wait for some more to come with us, but I'm going to go and back him up. He was actually stopped on the bottom level there, so I'm going to take this opportunity to get in this Ifrit that's at the bottom of the tower and launch a smoke. That will give us a bit of cover, and also gives me a bit more time to wait for the other friendlies to come, uh, come join us. But this first guy's gone straight up, but we've got at least one more friendly coming up right with us now anyway. And the first guy got taken out there, I assume that was from upstairs. I'm going to move into position to throw a grenade, although my mate's just not sure what he's going to do, so I've just backed off throwing the grenade for a sec and I'm going to shut these doors, as I usually do in the tower. However, he's just got taken out, so I'm throwing grenades up there. I've gone in this little room here to take cover from my own grenade. Bouncing the grenades off the wall to try and get them right in the room there. A couple of lucky kills with the grenade. Try and take all these enemies out before I go for the revive. Looks clear here, so I'm just going to pop one over the ledge, over the wall there. 
and go for the revive while watching the stairs at the same time. I'd prefer if this guy waited for the revive first before he went up, but you know, that's cool. Using the medic perk. Highly recommend using the medic perk when you're uh, assaulting towers. Extremely useful. Okay, I did actually stop to take some equipment off that body there, but I should actually be going up the tower above me. That I've just realised, even though I've not heard any contact, so I should still go up and make sure that guy's uh, safe by himself up there. Yeah, the tower's clear. But yeah, he's safe and the tower's secure, so what I'm going to do now is go and rearm from the dead bodies. Clear the tower first, then go back for the equipment off the dead bodies. And rearming any health packs and grenades, of course. Very useful for taking more towers. And what I'd usually do at this point after rearming is go straight out of the tower and go find somewhere else to assault. However, I can hear a helicopter flying over, and I can see on the GPS minimap in the bottom right there's no friendly helicopter, so it must be an enemy. So I've gone back up to the top of the tower uh, to get a good view on this helicopter. And yeah, by chance ended up with a very good view. He's uh, attempting to land quite close to the tower. He took a rocket, but I didn't get any uh, kill assists. You can just about see those guys through the tree there. If you see there, you can see a movement. That's what you're looking for, the movement. That's what gives people away. Not not actually seeing the person, but seeing the movement. Because if they stood really still, you would, I never would have seen those guys. It was fairly still, but the first one that was moving kind of gave the position away to the second one. I knew to look at any gaps that I could see. Yeah, got a lucky couple of kills there, really, looking through the bushes there. Watch out for tower one, yeah. On to another, another clip from another round. Got a bunch of friendlies near this tower here, so I'm going to go up the tower. Well, we've got a bunch of people near it. Two others in the car with me. Going up the tower. We're going up the tower in the group. This is the ideal way to take the tower in, in, a, in a group of like three or four. We're going up at the same time so you can back each other up. The front guy goes down, the others follow up really closely to take him out. Just having a look around the concrete pillars there. You do get people hiding behind these pillars sometimes. Right, the first level's clear. We're going to hurry up to the second level. You see there's me and at least one other person. Push oh, There's the other two are pushing up really quickly there. Aim down sight before going up the stairs there in case there's anyone waiting at the top of the stairs. Better or faster to get the first shot on point when you do that, in my opinion. Uh, well, I delayed just for about half a second or so before going through the door there. If I'd have timed opening the door at exactly the same time as my mate, I could have taken the enemy out before my mate died. But I've got two other people backing us up, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I've not gone any further up yet. Could be enemy above us. As you can see, I do not have the medic perk at the moment. This is before I had uh, all three slots unlocked. And it took a long time to revive my friendly, and one of us took fire while I was messing around with that there. Would have preferred the other guys to wait for us, but yeah, that's cool. Went to back him up in case of that exact situation. If I could be there to return fire to the enemy the very second the teammate goes down, we've got a much better chance. It's much more aggressive and surprising to the enemies that way. I'm in, I'm coming. Yeah, mate's come up to give us a bit of cover while I'm reviving these guys. He's actually gone up to the top, and rather than revive these other people, I'm going to have to back him up now, just in case there's other enemy, and we end up with that same situation as what we just had there with the other guy. Well, again, I would have preferred to revive the other people first, but, you know, that's cool. We've taken the tower. Okay, on to another round now. Um, we're taking out uh, one of the towers that's near us, trying to assault one of the towers that's near us. Tower 2, there's a lot of people in there. And we've been having trouble taking the tower. This tower has a bit of a clear space around the base. It's quite a difficult tower to get in. Oh, never mind. I lost none. less than 100 meters. Now, there are people in that tower, quite a few that are reviving each other each time they get taken out. So I can kill a few like this, but I'm never actually going to completely kill everyone. And in order to make it as difficult as possible for the enemy to shoot me, I'm not getting too close to the window, and I'm changing windows after each shot. I'm trying to shoot from the lower corner of one of the windows, try and give uh, as much, or sorry, as little of a target as possible for the enemies to shoot at.
and I'm changing window every shot so that uh, they have trouble lining up their shots. I'm always going to come up somewhere different. They're always going to come up in that in one of two windows, so it's a little bit easier for me. You see the the wood bouncing the the wood shards coming off the window uh, ledge there as the enemy was returning fire and hitting the window just in front of me. Actually, shot twice from the same window there because I was shooting at two different positions. But if a guy comes up in that bottom left window again, he's probably going to be looking at the window he was just shot from, which would be that middle one there. Okay, what I'm realising at this point is this just this is just going to continue on like this as they revive each other. So I'm going to attempt to push forward on the tower. I've got a few friendlies shooting at the tower as well. While they're shooting at the tower, that'll uh, act as a suitable distraction, allowing for me to move up towards the tower. I'm keeping visual cover from the tower, so hopefully they won't be able to see that there's someone attempting to push the tower right now. Why it were from? Thinking about going out into the empty space there. Did notice a guy firing, or a guy near that bottom left window anyway. I'm hesitating for a minute, just because the fires will die down for a second. I'm going to wait till all the other gunfire builds up again before I make my move. While I'm waiting, may as well take a few shots of this helicopter. I've got a Zephyr, it's an ideal weapon for shooting the helicopter in this sort of situation. Helicopter that's low flying, low and slow, looking for a place to land. Top right window, enemy. Now the people in the tower would have heard me shooting, so they might have a bit of an idea someone's pushing up towards them, so again, taking any visual cover at the, uh, that I can at the moment. He's got a target on me, so I can't move. Bottom left window. Awesome. Having a bit of luck in third person view before I make the final move again, because I've got to move across some empty space. Just took a random pot shot at the window that I was most likely to be shot from when I do move, and by chance there was someone up there. No, it's this guy over here as well, so let's take him out before I move. Nice. Right, now all the other gunfire is starting to pick up, so I'm going to use this opportunity to approach the tower again. I need a medic here. Okay, top, one. top. And as you can see, there's lots of other people shooting at this tower, so I'm going to take this opportunity to get right up to the tower. Highly risky manoeuvre, going out in the open like that. Tried to throw a grenade through the open window there, but I don't know where it went, so just had to move away from the base of the tower for a sec to make sure I didn't kill myself with my own grenade. Yeah, I'm going to try and get up this tower as quickly as possible. Again, aiming down sight before going up the final bit of the stairs there. Trying to be as fast as possible as I'm by myself. I'm just going to use attempt to use speed and surprise to catch these guys off guard while there's other people shooting at the tower. And it's definitely working. Okay, he's inspecting on the door. No. That last one on the roof there, he was distracted by all the smoke from that explosion, so that was definitely a bit lucky. And uh, yeah, just ran out, just ran the mag out at the end there, so that was a bit lucky as well. But yeah, tower clear, and those guys have been up there for a while, so pretty happy with that last one. That's how you clear towers. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this information is useful to you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Take it easy.